Hey, what's up, everybody? Yeah, I uh, just got back from uh, taping uh, my half an hour special. It went well. Now we're going to sit back and see what it does. But right now, I just finished coming back from driving a three hour run from Pennsylvania to Vestal, New York. That's Virginia. Say hi, Virginia. Hi. So, uh, got a book signing at Barnes and Nobles today. So I'm up here, just finished doing the taping yesterday in Pennsylvania. Now I'm up in Vestals, New York. And uh, as you see, it's not accessible. It's not, no, you don't need that. You don't need that? Okay. Not accessible. So, um, I'm going to have to work my magic to get up these steps. Keep in mind, once again, I'm chest down paralyzed. Had a motorcycle accident 13 years ago, and uh, you know these are the, what you call the obstacles in life that you have to, you know, either submit to or, or, or overpower yourself to ride above them. So um, here we go. We'll make it happen. Just stretching my back out for a second before I slide in and make it happen. Now people might wonder, well, what do you do? What do you do now that you uh you on the floor and what you gotta do to get back to that next phase? If nobody was around, which uh pretty much there isn't, so uh it's it's called the next phase of how do you get back up into a seated position. Like I said, ain't nobody said it was gonna be easy. Now the moral to this story is, in life 
we all come through challenges. Now, y'all might have thought my challenge for the day has been the ultimate drag out of my life. Physically, it was tiring because I don't do that on an everyday basis. I don't have to actually get out my chair, climb up a flight of steps, drag myself in somewhere, and then crawl up a chair. Normally there are people around where I can get some assistance where I can get out of my chair and they carry me up a flight of steps. But to the world, you really have to recognize where am I going with this. It's not, it's not about me. It's not about my troubles. It's not about my pain and my disability. It's about what I'm trying to show the world that you cannot give up on what you're trying to do. And the, the incredible part of my quest in life right now is that many people, they, they, they see me on a day-to-day -day basis. And the, the, the positive attitude that I run with on a day-to-day -day basis, they commend me on it, they bless me on it, they, 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 they appreciate it, and it motivates them to be better people. And the killer part is, I don't do this for any of y'all. I do this for the fact that God allowed me to stay on this earth another day. And I have two sons and my sons are my world. I have I have I have other kids out there that I've taken care of that are not my children. And I know I know that y'all y'all have been feeling in a way when I'm writing on Facebook and talking about the two boys. But to the kids that I've claimed that are not mine. That, that wasn't biologically, you know, produced by me. My love for you does not diminish. So don't don't take it personal when I'm uh, blogging and writing about the boys. Um, the boys are in there every day. And it takes away from nothing that I've done for y'all through the years. For the kids that are not biologically mine, I don't want y'all to feel misled in what I'm what I'm writing and where am I going with this because I do have some kids that are biologically not mine but are mine in heart and that's how big my heart is as a father in doing what I'm doing so uh, I I push for them to really please respect what I'm what I'm doing and it takes away from nothing that I've done for y'all throughout the years I, I love y'all and I appreciate y'all but the big picture is to make the world aware of the the box they're putting themselves in and um, the limitations they they're giving themselves. I I put no limitations on me. Why? Because I don't want no limitations put on me. I don't want to be able to feel restricted in doing anything. So I push forth and I I make the best out of a dog situation. So as you see continuously where am I going with this just 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 look out for the future because the future is not about the bad girls club or Ray J does the universe or uh, Kate and such and such with eight uh, th th that's not really reality what you just seen right now that's reality reality is I push forth and I don't let anything stop me and I'm just one of probably millions out there that that really strives for a better quality of life that they had from when they were not disabled. You want to call me disabled? That wasn't disabled. That was a man fighting with will and heart to achieve something. Right now I'm upstate New York in Vesto about to do a book sign and my book was released. Where's the book at? Do you have a book on hand? Let me show the book. My book was released uh, this January. Once again, it's called Surviving the Game of Life. If you have not got purchased this book right here, ladies and gentlemen, please, whatever you do, go out and pick up this book. You want to talk about a real survival story? You really want to talk about a real reality show? I got a reality show for you. It's a man who never quit, who's always continued to fight, who's never stopped raising his kids, who's never stopped appreciating the people around him, on an everyday basis. I got a reality show for you. You need to look out for it. Once again, real fathers do real things. Let's talk about it. 2010.